The ex-spouses of Che Holmes and Amy Robach were spotted cuddling up on the PDA for the first time since rumors of their romance surfaced. Following the disclosure of the scandal involving the fired Good Morning America hosts, Andrew Hsu and Marilee Fiebig became acquainted. As they bid each other farewell, Andrew, 57, and Marilee were spotted packing on the PDA in New York City. The two were standing behind a car, taking items out of the trunk. Before they said goodbye, they gave each other a hug and a kiss. Since their relationship became public, this was the first time that Andrew and Marilee had been spotted packing on the PDA. They were both dressed casually. Marilee was dressed in a multicolored dress with a pink hoodie knotted around her waist, and Andrew was dressed in a dark blue shorts and a blue shirt. Sabang, TJ, and Marilee's only child, was welcomed into the world in 2013. Although Amy and Andrew are not parents, they both have children of their own. It seems that as their romance grows, Amy, 51, and TJ, 46, are also becoming more serious about each other. During a co-hosting podcast episode, Angel, Amy disclosed her romantic intentions with TJ. TJ admitted to suggesting that she get on a dating app, which she told the audience, I want to give you a chance to see if you can go out there and do better, he said to her. Amy continued by saying that she was still determining her level of commitment to TJ. It was inferred by her reply that marriage is an option. On the other hand, according to TJ, neither of them had made up their minds about getting officially married or not. Amy said during the podcast that Tay expressed his want to remain with her for the rest of his life. She went on to say that she would like to live with him. On air, Amy and TJ have been disclosing every aspect of their relationship, even some of its difficulties. Some people speculate that their desire to talk so candidly is an effort to get more subscribers to their podcast. The U.S. Sun revealed firsthand in January that the program was falling rapidly in the listener charts. Data from the popular podcast analytics site Chartable revealed that Amy and Che's premiere episode was among the top five of all U.S. podcasts. There was a ton of interest in what they were going to say about their affair and being cut from ABC in the aftermath, but I'm not sure anyone expected that interest to continue much beyond that according to an industry insider. The show fell to the 243rd position in the U.S. charts the following month, on January 6. When they disclosed their drinking past, things appeared to be improving, but even that was fleeting. During the show, Tej admitted that he drank 18 glasses a day before to starting dry January. Following the broadcast, the podcast gradually ascended to the 136th position in the rankings. Comparable numbers were displayed by Apple and Spotify's rating rankings. Two weeks into dry January, the couple talked about the same things again. Amy disclosed that, before the experiment, she was averaging around three drinks per day and consuming 15 to 20 drinks per week. Her preferred drinks, according to her, were Aperol Spritz, wine, beer, and margaritas.